Hi, my name is Jason Dwyer. I'm with Martell Electronics, and today we'll be working with the Beta Gauge 330E and performing a switch test. This will be the first of several series working with this mini plant mock up in a case, so I'm going to cover that real quickly so you guys are familiar with what I'm doing. Let me put the gauge down here. So, what I have here is a pressure transducer 100 psi, a pressure switch 100 psi, um, I have a PLC here. Alan Bradley, um, I have AC coming in and a 24 volt uh, DC supply here. A uh, fuse block system here with terminal blocks, so the loop is powering up my additional loop indicator, my transmitter, uh, that's a temperature transmitter, my pressure transmitter. So I have a lot going on here. It's kind of a, a mini mock up in the plant. So let's get started here. So we're going to be working with the beta gauge 330, uh, the 150 psi electric to do our test today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my connections here. And so I already have a pressure line already hooked up here. So I'm just going to run this into my 330 here, the switch. Now the switch is wired. It comes in here to the terminal block. So to monitor the contact closure, um, polarity is not important here. We're just looking for change of state. So I'm going to run my terminals. I got them plugged in the leads here in the bottom of my 330 falling polarity in this case. But like I said, switch testing not important. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my leads in the two contacts here. Tighten those up. All right. Now a lot of people don't realize, and I'm going to zoom in here real quick. is that we have a setup already built up for switch testing. So I'm going to go through that really quick. Right now I have P1 set up for PSI. I'm measuring milliamps. I'm going to get into the menu here and it says config, lower, more. I'm going to hit more. Next, 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 next. Setups. Until so I see setups on the bottom here, which is F1. I'm going to press that. Now you have save, recall, done. I'm going to recall a setup. So when we program in the factory, we give you default setups to do some testing very fast. One of them is switch tests. So I'm going to go to recall setup. Let's do that again. Recall setup number four. I don't know if you can see that here. And what that does is it automatically puts me in switch test mode. So if you can see the screen here, I'm at zero PSI. Um, it says switch open. So it's already set up for switch testing here. I'm going to close my vent here on my 330. Um, I'm going to pump up. Now I have it set to about 10 PSI, which is pretty low for this pump. I have a 150 PSI version here. So I'm going to pump up really slowly here. Still open. All right, so you've seen it change state here, closed. Now I'm going to use the vernier here, the manual vernier, and I'm going to bleed back down. Let's see if we can capture this here. And right now at about 11 and a half psi, I'm going down. Getting closer here, 10.7.3. All right, running out of vernier, so I'm going to vent real quick. So I'm using the side here. There you go. So it closed. Now the test is done, and I can review this test here. I have the option of F1 to do a new test here. I can hit next. And I see that it opened at 8.22 PSI. I can hit next again. There's my dead band, 3.15 PSI. Hit next again, it closed at 11.37 PSI. Now, like I said, I can hit done here, or I can keep reviewing the results and document them on my uh, pen or paper and do that. Or I can do a new test drill here, and it starts you right back again um, to do the switch test. So this was a quick video on how to use the Beta Gauge 330. Uh, 150 PSI electric to do a switch test. Thank you.